and I just wanted to say a big Merry Christmas and I hope you had a very relaxing holiday and you ate lots of food, got some good presents and if you don't celebrate Christmas I hope you just had a good time a good good time and it was the best Monday you've had <laughs> um, and I don't know if you can see but we've got I've got my lovely cockapoo banjo on my lap so I think he'll be joining us for this video probably trying to eat what I'm going to show you but today I thought I'd bring back Friday 5 at 5 and which is one of the most requested videos that you guys seem to want you're like where's Friday 5 at 5 gone but that's one of my least watched so I'm like do I bring it back? Do I not? So this is probably just going to be a one-off, but I hope you enjoy. And I'm also combining it with another highly requested video. <laughs> Matthew, please stop. <laughs> and <laughs> another highly requested video, which is what I got for Christmas or what I got for my birthday. And that's probably one of my most disliked videos, so... I'm combining my least watched and my most disliked video. Smudge it to one. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So um, I've tried to lose Banjo, but he seems to be in a very playful mood when I'm trying to film this video. So he's just over there, so as you can hear, he's probably going to make some noise and oh, here he is. Jump back into shot. <laughs> Come on in, baby. Come on in. He's like, mm, I'll lay right there. <laughs> Man, no, you're not eating the ball balls. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is what I apparently asked for when I got a cockapoo. <laughs> he just is, goes rah, 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 and eat ball balls, so delightful. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to show you is a very stagey gift that I got for Christmas, which if you are musical theatre, singer, anything, you will probably know what this is. It is a Dr. Nelson's inhaler and yes I'm very excited about this I've been wanting one for ages so I had to just stop the video again because somebody decided to steal a pen so I had to chase him around the room many times but so I actually don't know what I just recorded but like I said this is one of my favorite presents he's gonna steal that pen again I should have moved it um, this is one of my favourite presents and it is basically a steamer for your vocal cord health and helps you be able to sing lovely. The next thing I'm going to show you is something I'm very excited about because I've wanted these forever. Actually I think I'm going to say this about pretty much all of the stuff I got but uh, these, these shoes, old school vans, I love them. And I think they're a very popular shoe, and I'm not very original wanting these, but, my gosh, I haven't actually gone out in these yet. Banjo, come on, stop being naughty. Yeah, th that's my dog, guys. <laughs> I thought I'd be clever and film when it's just me and the dog's home, but, yeah, oh, not the best idea ever. Um, and he is currently being naughty. Oh, and he's back. Hello there. Anyway, like I was saying, these are my shoes. And I love them. And you can probably tell I've got dinky feet. So when I say dinky feet, I mean size three dinky feet. And my feet actually haven't grown for quite a long time, so feeling I'm going to be a small-footed child for the rest of my life. <laughs> so before I get on to the next thing, I just want to say sorry about my hair. This is the style that I go for when it's Christmas and I can't go up to style it. So it's just a frizzy mess, 24-7. Um, but anyway, the next thing I'm going to show you, let me just say, as you know, I'm very obsessed with makeup. So my little heart pounded when I saw these in my, in my present pile. The first thing is something I've wanted for a long old time now. And Banjo, stop. This is Fenty Beauty Foundation. <laughs> oh, it is gorgeous. I'm not even, I'm not even going to lie. Te we couldn't actually find it for ages in my colour. Because my colour is apparently the most popular colour. So we got, it sells out in about two seconds and we've never actually seen it on sale so I got it in a colour 140 which 
actually fits my skin quite nicely. Um, and, oh my gosh, I have never put something on my face and just felt so like, it just is so light and gorgeous. And I'm not going to make this into a beauty video, so I'm going to stop talking about that. Because otherwise I'll be going on for a long time about how gorgeous it is. But the next thing is, it's equally exciting. And it is my Charlotte Tilbury foundation, which is basically just as gorgeous as the Fenty. Apart from, this one is a little bit thicker, but then dries so light, and it's just dreamy. <laughs> but here it is, and isn't that bottle just gorgeous? And this one I got in a colour, um, probably light. I don't actually know what the colouring scheme on Charlotte Tilbury is, because I got this for Christmas. But, oh, is it on here? No. Hey, there it is. Two. Fair pale. <clears throat> I need to go on holiday. <laughs> Actually, I feel like if I go on holiday and get a tan, then I'll be putting on this and my face would just be white and everything else would be brown. You can never work, can you? But, so these two items are by far the most brilliant things I've ever got. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to be showing you, I am in love with. And first thing is the Castiel Pop. <laughs> and as you guys know, I'm, I mean, I must have talked about someone. I am obsessed with Supernatural, the TV show. It's my life. And one of the only pops I didn't get was Castiel. And I got them now. And Acacia is by far my favourite character. I love Misha Collins and yes, just love and yeah, I got one and honestly, it's great. And not only is it normal Castiel, it is winged Castiel, which is like a rare, an actual rare. So yeah, I love this. And then the next one, which is also a pop figure, my Ghostbusters mic. <laughs> and I know I've talked about my love for strange things. Basically, TV shows, I probably love it. Um, yes, so I've got my little mic and, I mean, just how freaking cute. I love it. I think I can just say how much I love them. <laughs> so the next thing is my main present that, if you watch my vlogs for a while, I know I've spoken about, and if you follow my Instagram, I post a lot about. And this is something to do with this present that I received. And, yeah. This is a bat out of uh, hell. Um, LP. And I'm just going to tell you the story. Right. <laughs> so I opened this lush present. And it's my little LP. And I'm obviously very excited by it. And I got a little cute bat necklace. And I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. And then I was like, oh. What is that there in the wrapping paper? And I climb over, I don't climb over anything, it's literally just next to me. But anyway, I reach over and, ah, oh, it's only tickets for opening night when it comes back to London! <laughs> I, I'm just gonna, no, I'm just gonna insert the clip right now. Luckily, my mum cut it off before I started crying, because yes, yes, I cried. Enjoy. No way! So, yeah, I was spoiled rotten as you can see for Christmas, but I just want to tell you about my lovely Christmas I had. On Christmas Eve, I saw my auntie and uncle, which was lovely and we hung out with them for a while, they saw our dog, we had some snacks, because you've got a snack at Christmas, don't you? Um, and then I went to church to the Chris Dingle, which was lovely as always, my tradition, as I'm pretty sure when I did Vlogmas way back, I did take you to church. Take me to church, I was like a dog and... Pretty sure I did. That's like one of my favourite things to do on Christmas, and Oh, Christmas Eve, not Christmas, Christmas Eve. And then I came home and spent the evening with my mum and dad and we watched a nice Christmas movie and we all snuggled up in our pyjamas. It was great. And then I woke up the next day at six o'clock, which apparently I'm still a kid and 
can't sleep on Christmas. <laughs> I just get very excited. So then I came downstairs and opened some presents and I really, really wasn't expecting anything for Christmas, well, at all, because, you know, I had a really, really, really good year this year and it was very busy and my list for Santa was basically clothes, makeup, and I think that was pretty much it. Probably a bit of chocolate. Um, literally, I did not ask for anything and as you can tell, I was wrong and I got spoiled rotten and I was, was not expecting it. My mum and dad and my family, they're just so amazing and I was like, oh my god! But I, yeah, I just wasn't expecting it at all. But anyway, um, and then I saw my one set of my grandparents and we opened some more presents and we ate and they came over for a while and then, which was, which was obviously lovely to see them um, and then we had our dinner which was huge and I mean I've never had a roast dinner this big like overflowing I was like but it was delicious <laughs> um, and yeah and then we just chilled out for the rest of the evening and watched uh, what did we watch? Elf the Musical which obviously was great and I'm sure some of you must have watched that because it was really good um, and then on Boxing Day I got to see some more um, aunties and uncles which was lovely and they took out our dogs for a huge walk and they came back very muddy so we had an eventful bath time with the dogs and we were all soaking wet by the end of it but it was really lovely to see everyone and then I am seeing them all seeing all of them all my aunties and uncles and my other set of grandma and grandpa my other set of grandma and grandpa <laughs> on um was it on Saturday and yes I'm very excited to see everyone and it's just been a really, really nice Christmas, and it's just been so, lots of family, lots of chilling, and, you know, what's better than, oh, and we can't forget the food. I had a lot of food, I feel like, oh, <laughs> but yeah, I had a great time. So, my question for this 5 at 5, which, obviously, I want to know what you guys all got for Christmas, if you're hitting the sales, or what your favourite present was, so make sure you leave that down below. But, this is a question. Do you guys play board games over Christmas? Because we don't seem to play board games any other point of the year, but we play so many over Christmas, and we have so much fun, so I'm like, why don't we play them more often? But, yeah, we play, literally, we spend all our time playing board games, we're like, oh, da, 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 da. and so let me just look at what songs we've played. We have played, we've played Pointless, which is a new one we got this year, which has actually been a lot of fun, and a lot of guessing on my behalf, <laughs> because I don't know half of the questions, but, I've been doing all right. I'm pretty sure I won once, so go me. And <laughs> um, we also play. We've played Name Five, Game Quick Lyric, Dog Bingo, which love a bit of Dog Bingo me. And one thing me and my dad do, you know, every year, is we do our big Monopoly game. We haven't actually done it this year. I'll make sure he plays that with me because someone here always wins. <coughs> me. <laughs> Um, and also, I just want to add on, I'm filming on my mum's camera today. We've never actually filmed on this camera before, so I actually have no idea what the sounding's going to be like, whether I'm in focus. So hopefully, it's going to be okay. If not, then this is a really pointless video, and I don't know why I'm filming it, because that would be really sad if it didn't work, and why am I still talking, and... <laughs> anyway, I love you guys so much. Please like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and... I will see you soon. Lots of love and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.